silent police took her away. Give me your daughter. And they came. Everybody ran away. Into the water. Look around. It's summer. It's sunny. You got your computer full of dark money. The robotic defense forces move through buildings. Let's count up to one million. One. Two. Three. Four. Take up. It's going down. I. Six. A dark money. Seven. A dark money. Eighty. Nine. Eighty thousand and one. Six. Seven. You got a leash on. Elastic. Look around. It's summer. Three. It's sunny. Four. Yeah. Five. Six. Huh. Let's count up to one million. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. One. Two. Three. Four. Eight, nine. Look around. It's summer. It's sunny. You got your computer full of dark money. Let's count up to one million. Three, four. The 95 year old Satanist falls out of the wheelchair, collapsing onto the ground. Wires spilling everywhere. 23,044. The young artists are confused, stomping their ground. One, two. Repetitive behavior. 118,238. Six, seven. Three, two. Oh, no, no. The quant. 23,044. Let's count up to one million. Plasmatic computer agents with 3D rendered freckles takes the names of teenage chess players with expensive cosmetic surgery. While priests of journalism and 401ks wearing non hunters' Thompson clothes write stories about lazy spin doctors dreaming stale dreams of Trotsky and Churchill and confess to well-paid and bored psychiatrists employed by politicians who communicate via crypto-encrypted message apps funded by CIA-backed corporations in WeWork offices with IKEA furniture and free kombucha on tab and in fridge Surveillance experts looking into blank souls bought and sold by stock traded companies in Copenhagen and Seattle. Eric Prince. St. 
Dante and Prince is a lie. They are here, the well paid and worried peace pigeons of United Narcotics on 42nd Street, where I think I got sick by watching idiot lovers water ski on sidewalks designed by ex German architects relocated to America in 1946. Avert your eyes and look into the East River. Admit it, you can't take it. Half blocked by an arm with a Nike smartwatch reading your mind of yesteryear. And below the surface, artificial fish fucking each other in real water. Nervous Australians in jail in the United Kingdom for thought crimes committed in Sweden 10 years ago. And well-to-do handsome comedians telling jokes that are not jokes about a reality that's not real, only partly real. Eric Prince is dead. <laughs> and now there's nowhere to go really but home and back inside where it's now clear as bottled water that Silicon Valley is an SNM dungeon that your math teacher invented in your fifth grade to turn your brain and your body to mush. You're being pleasured and you're not paying for it. You are pleasuring and you're not getting paid. Free love free art and free billionaire dreams for all homeless people reading about mind control inside and outside Starbucks all over the world. All hail forgotten poets of sleeping bags and medicine. The common man is alive and doing well in cyberspace and even the millionaires are crying now. It's a joke to be a millionaire these days. Only billionaires count now, only they can build towers high enough to withstand the coming flood. No more slaves, no more masters, only internal policemen of the virtual third world who meet online with stateless street planners in Greece who make coffee and toast over burning 20 euro notes. Eric Prince is dead. While Chinese Communist Party oligarchs, afraid of kidnappings and confessions, false and real, ship their daughters to Canada to study performance art and Austrian school economics, mingling with pain global birds of prey, laying their eggs in the dreadlock powdered wigs of American and Canadian crypto aristocrats. The sons and the daughters of Democratic Party officials suspended in cryogenic think tanks of formaldehyde and crocodile tears while general students dip their toes in the ice cold waters of poverty. and maybe Europe will save us all. Perhaps soccer teams of 44 corrupt testicles in Spain and Italy, owned by Russian hologram men, will inspire justice and health. Perhaps Saudi Arabia will change. Now the Saudi women wearing hijabs and pink sandals finally get their driver's licenses while their husbands sit at home and invest in self-driving cars. And also, why not, computer vision and a wide selection of algorithmic intellectual property facilitating useless networks of national blockers serenaded by charming squirrels who moonlight as banal mascots for corporations funding pogroms and poverty illustrated by the street out of nothing in a city in California where it was all invented the Stalin of iPhones, the Lenin of laptops Dogs of tomorrow, email with Osanias pouts animals by blonde subhuman surfers too dropped up to appreciate that they are connected psychedelically and psychiatrically to children in Utah on antipsychotic drugs in dreams and nightmares about Isis and Mother Teresa. Oh brother, oh sister, medication and simulation in Los Angeles and everywhere else. 
water is moving now. Lazy sharks snack alongside individualist, non-conformist penguins who listen to audiobooks and worry about society. And meanwhile, seven hours south, a native Peruvian Arasca tourist guide must listen to a Tokyo housewife who in detail explains her desire to poison her soft bank husband. I can't take more than one more second, she suddenly tells the shocked Quechua shaman who thought he had seen it all. You cannot sleep, just like the nightclubs in Berlin, which never close. The party is too serious, don't stare. Boredom, the last taboo, break it before it breaks you. Thought criminals in Paris and Toronto, and perverted city planners promoted by New York Times and New York Magazine and New Yorker, which is German slang for a cocaine-laced cigarette. Eric Prince. This is it. This is it. And Prince. This is alive. AA followers of an anonymous god, podcasters of lost lord dance, late night talk show hosts for a timeless era of eternal evening. Black singers of white music lament the lost event horizon of Andy Warhol parties that never happened. Kitching, oh don't you worry, kid. You can make money too by leasing out your shoes to barefooted fellow travelers on our new application or perhaps as an Airbnb experience hostess or as a daring sexual adventurer employed by Pornhub sponsored government officials trying to combat a plague with ideologies made for pleasure seekers and prediction managers in residence at museums inhabited by curators of Lower East Side punkwear and historians of Detroit techno music. Backwards ever, time marches on. Seminars on scopophilia and the opposite are well attended and so are rallies made up of militia members consisting of heavily armed YouTubers who plan destructions and terrorism at smart glass factories in Portland, Oregon and Queens, New York. The animal kingdom is sick and tired of this nonsense. The insect eyes of the Google camera, forcefully worn by unpaid government dolphins, eaten alive by SeaWorld escapees who went wild after a life of torture and tricks. Just like the famous feminist five who smoke CBD laced electronic cigars and socialize in the old boys club of senility in rooms constructed of rotting mahogany golf clubs and playboy magazines from the year 1973. It's falling apart, who would ever want to live there? Eric Prince. This is it. This is it. Pale slaves of pleasure and midnight cops exchange Hollywood business cards in paranormal total chat rooms with New York based certified reality experts afraid of Russian plots against America who like schoolboys and like schoolgirls write messages in a bottle and throw it downstream the river hoping it will arrive in the homes of Oklahomans who are in reality too busy deciphering tea leaves on Twitter with their beers and their guns. Further west, further west to Hollywood, holy Hollywood, all movies burning from the inside of Earth's eyes, the hidden treasures of the Sierra Madre and the new 2020 movie about the great proletarian comeback. Let's do it. The movie about systematic abuse magically overcome by candle spirit and intergenerational harmony. Grandpa always told me about getting back into the ring and the fragrance of grandma's cookies is still in the air. And now, synthesized by polyamorous sleepy CIA agents and heterosexual FBI agents and invisible DHS agents working together with agencies not even named or created to facilitate information displacement and invasions into continents leading nowhere. 
the northern border Forget the southern one, it's too busy there Too much blood and too much mud Eric Prince is alive and Prince is dead One exchanging blood for money The other with a reverse strategy Playing with stolen guards and eaters of money, checking their post problematic pocket watches while computers repaired by Norwegian Galaxy administrators finally work until they don't. Everybody knows it's a shit show of gargantuan proportions, but at least the pandas don't care and are finally making love. Breathe 
isolation for a computer nation. Someday it's gonna happen. Someday it's coming soon. The water will rise. The towers will come down. The animals will rebel. The robots gone to hell. In swimming pools full of green water. Like the one I saw in Middletown outside room 218. I can't remember what year it was. It must have been around 1819. Are we really living here now? In this world of total telephones and cybernetic jails? Dreamed off in a past of pre-crime ravens and murderous white whales. Californian commandos traveled north, found the scientists. They said, tell us, do you want to build rockets? We will give you a house in Connecticut. So tell us how you did it.
Friday night And you're sitting in a virtual iris bound Talking to a dark sea Half human avatar He's got strange eyes And he's blue in the face He's interested in starting off a colony Somewhere in deep space Leaving The ship is leaving In Bolivia They have lithium For electronic cars He's got a ticket To a rocket Seven colors, they will stabilize your moods. Leaving, the ship is leaving. Perhaps you should talk to Dr. F. He's sitting over here. Red knuckles grab the edge of an expensive leather chair.